did I just hear you saying to this man to the caller the one from Kashmir I think tell him that the scriptures though it was written two thousand years ago it will fit to your every day there's a new message in it I hear you saying that you the, the same passage you, you read yesterday because uh -huh. this is the living word of God and it always speak to you in the moment it's a, this is not this is not an ink this is I I wish to see an example Mr. Uh, Prince please give us an example though the um, the ink you're talking about let's see what you're gonna say about the ink first it's not just a word this is something that speaks yeah. your heart and help you in spiritual way and even to find a solution for things that so um, your scripture is not ink it's not on the Bible it's not black ink on white paper no it's words yeah and you're talking about the Bible yeah I proved already and I'll prove it to you that the Bible is not the word of God Christian Prince and I wonder what is the Bible showing you telling you when it gives you passages where it says well the two daughters of Lot decided to sleep to get their father drunk and to take turns on him and sleep with him and have children with him now you you tell me what is that saying to you and what is it saying to the caller and what is it saying to me okay leave that that's too dirty you don't want that to be heard or seen how about how about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 where it says here or Israel the Lord our God is one what does it say to you is it saying that uh, here or Israel the the Lord our God is the Father is God the Son is God and the Holy Spirit is God so Christian Prince tell us what is this verse saying to you oh wait a minute oh Jesus your God is recorded to have said that in the book of Mark chapter 12 verse 29 here is oh let's put it in context and perspective at the time one of the scribes comes to Jesus and asks him O oh, Rabbi O oh, teacher what which uh, which of the commandment is most important what did he say to him exactly what Moses said to the Israel at the time in the book of Deuteronomy he said here is the Lord our God is one and it is called the Shema and I wonder what which part in here or Israel the Lord our God is one is saying here or Israel the Lord our God is with the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and the three are one. Oh no sorry and one is in three. Oh no you go figure you tell me what it is saying to you and oh and the guy from Kashmir as well please tell me what is this saying to you yeah uh, let's see what what you you got more um you come up with this caller here and he calls himself himself sheikh well let me tell you something there is no sheikh on earth who is a true sheikh who would call himself sheikh he would go straight to his name not a single man who is actually a sheikh will call himself himself sheikh I think this is all a set up here where you are telling people though oh this man here uh, called sheikh let's try to go back a little bit so I find it hard to follow the I'm good can you hear me I hear you very well okay. so uh, I introduced you as sheikh as you told me in the text sheikh, sheikh yes. Muhammad Rahman correct yes yes uh, right. okay so what are you going to talk about so I can get my resources out uh, look at the the guy is sheikh 
and from UK as you can see here from his his English um, he doesn't have a good English that's one thing second thing if he was a sheikh he wouldn't call himself sheikh and then third thing is he wouldn't even look for resources or sources whatever it is oh and Christian Prince said to him said just before that um, Muhammad hmm? oh, uh, okay as you can see he this Muhammad here so in here he calls himself Muhammad but in here he say I am Sheikh Muhammad Rahman mmm very very interesting there's not a single man on earth who would call himself Sheikh any Imam any Sheikh real Sheikh will just introduce himself with his own name okay let's follow uh, his name is Sheikh Muhammad Rahman, he lived in the United Kingdom and he said he want to talk to me, I said to him welcome Sheikh, I'm sharing with you the screen whatever we have in the conversation mm -hmm. and he said to me um, uh, take your time brother, sound like nice person no rush, uh, what do you want to talk about so I can get my resource ready there's no need to get resource ready for me Christian Prince is always ready, let us call you oh really? okay not long ago a caller from Germany called you and he was asking you about Hadith and he said oh you could not find it you were there tottering and stuttering and you were checking around and mumbling and rumbling and you could not find what he was talking about and the, you ended up telling him oh well send me a snapshot and I will find it and now that you said you're ready of course you're ready you set up the um, what you call it the topic already and you had all the lies ready but anyway <coughs> I am looking at this screen and, I, and I, I really want to read in, to read it and know what you're saying what what you're showing oh so it's, it's the same thing it's the hadith that talks about the pen writing on the thing oh, what is the problem with this hadith why did you bring it in, in here but anyway it, it, it's none of my business now because you're going to be talking to this so-called sheikh. I would like to hear this sheikh talking to you. All right, Christian Prince, right here in I think minute 42, you and the caller are talking, and you started. It's either you or some other clown started so-called Quran, and this was la alif ha ya al amaim and stuff like that. And you, you, you ask him, oh, is this Quran? Oh, of course. And there's someone telling him, oh, it's not Quran. And then he says, it's not Quran. And then you guys, he started, this man cannot be a sheikh because he said, oh, well, it does not sound like Quran because Quran is more eloquent. Hello. Hello, both of you. Hello. It is not Quran because it's not Quran. I would make the difference. I would know if you're saying Alif Lam Mim or Ha Mim Ain Saad and saying, Oh, Malik, Malik, Kun Yadhabu Il Madrasa or Il Asuq. Hello, this man here is not a Sheikh. If it was, if if the man you're talking to here and he says he's from Syria and he knows Arabic, he would say that I know the Quran since he presented himself as Sheikh, he would know I know the Quran what you put on now the audio has nothing to do with our the Quran and it was ridiculous okay let's hear what you got to say now and hear him now he is saying so it's all a, a, a set up like he said it like this man is supposed to be from Fine. Syria really? And Christian Prince asked him, do you know Arabic? He said, I know Arabic. And then he asked him about the word Al-Aqsa, which is in Arabic, meaning the farthest one. Whichever it is farthest, it is the farthest. Your man here said, well, I don't know the meaning of it, but, y you know, I know, because Palestine it is mentioned. Yeah. In chapter 17, verse number 1, it says the Majid Al-Aqsa. Hmm. Yes, it's uh, okay. yeah. And this is Palestine, supposedly? Uh, it's in Palestine. No, no. It, it says uh, it, is, it is the journey mm -hmm. to the second mosque, the furthest mosque. Yeah. Don't you think this is a mistake? Uh, and just please, guys, pay attention to this discussion. It's like a. Okay, 
or I'm going to call you or you're going to call me when I'm doing this video and I'm going to be asking you questions and you will be answering and you are not going to win I'm going to win and I'm going to ask some questions difficult questions to you which are not really difficult these are uh, questions that can be answered by a nine years old kids and I can show you nine years old kids who can answer these questions I'm just finding really really funny that you Christian priests are such a deceiver to use such tactics no because <laughs> because this is the house because it says it's okay to the house of worship okay you, you claim that you speak Arabic do you know what Allah saw means? no you see that do you see that I mean this man first of all his his voice is too young to be a sheikh do you know what it takes you to be a sheikh it takes a lot first of all you have to memorize the whole Quran you have to learn the whole translation of the Quran you have to learn the hadith you have to learn fiqh which is the jurisprudence you have to learn Ibn Tawheed you have to learn Ibn Tajweed you have to learn Alm al-Hadith you have to learn Al-Jarh wa Ta'deel al-Hadith you have to learn the Mirath you have to learn so much it will take you at least at least 10 years to be qualified to be a sheikh and this man sounds like a, a, an 18 or 19 years old and he's calling already himself uh, sheikh muhammad from uk and he claims to be from syria and he knows arabic and there mr christian prince who is from lebanon very close to him who is asking him do you know what the sacred is do you know what the the al-aqsa is the farthest is I can't believe this. Okay, I'll get back to you. What do you mean you do not know? You speak Arabic, don't you? Uh, I mean, it's, I just don't know what it means. I know it's the Majid. I okay, mean, can you read for me? Can you read for me the verse in Arabic? Uh, no, because, uh, well... Hmm. You no. do not know. Okay, here, here is another thing. Do you guys really believe that this guy is Arabic? First of all, he said he, in UK, his accent is American. Okay? And what's going on here? Let's see. What is this story about Arabic? Arabic. I, d I do know Arabic. No. See, this is the, the guy behind you. He is the one who told you. He's watching my program before. That what the, the Quran I played, this is not Quran. And you don't speak Arabic. So you were going to say, yes, this is Quran. But the guy behind you told you that. And now you said to me, I asked you, do you speak Arabic? You said, yes, I am Syrian. And now you say it. You don't speak Arabic. So in, in less than three minutes, you, you, you prove to me that you are lying to us. Which is not nice. Why are you sitting here? You speak Arabic. I do speak Arabic. No, because I'm better in English. I, I oh, no, okay. You speak Arabic. English. Go ahead. Here we go. I, what, I told you a very simple word. What al Aqsa mean? You do not know. I mean, it's just one word. Not everybody knows every word. Okay, it doesn't matter. Can you read the verse? No, you cannot read it. What akhi? What akhi? What does that mean? My friend, I ask you. Okay. This is a word here. Prove to me that Allah is a false God. Let me tell you what. This is your Muslim translation. It says. The farthest most. Do you know what farthest most means? Uh, yes. Well, the farthest most. There's no most behind it. That's it. Correct? Okay, Mr. Christian Prince, just because you know some Arabic, don't think that you know all the Arabic, especially the Quranic Arabic. Let me give you an example. In Arabic, we say Al Maghrib al Aqsa. Al Maghrib al Aqsa. What is the Maghrib al-Aqsa? It is Morocco. Al-Maghrib al-Aqsa, it just means that beyond it, there is nothing. What the word Aqsa means the farthest point on this, whichever, whether point, whether it's a building, whether it is a geographical place, whatever it is. Okay? And at the time, there was no mosque beyond no place of worship for Allah beyond the 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 Aqsa Mosque, which is in Jerusalem. Do you understand that? Okay, let's 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 move on. That's it. This is the far. Okay, but but uh, but Jerusalem is not even a thousand uh, kilometer from uh, uh, from Mecca. How this can be the farthest mosque? Uh, Christian Prince, you're being silly here you've been really ridiculous because beyond 
beyond Jerusalem there was no other place of worship of Allah the monotheistic belief because the Jews were monotheistic unlike you you are tr Trinitarian believing in in a, in a father and, a, and his son and the son is the father the father is the son and something like that some something very very confusing just like you are confused and you're trying to confuse this caller whom you already uh, called a liar and whom I believe that he is a liar and he says he's in the United Kingdom his accent is American and he calls himself Sheikh and you you were happy oh I tell you what your plan was I tell you what your plan was the plan your plan is the plan of the your father the devil whom wants to put uh, like in front of the audience so people will be look wow look Christian Prince is exposing liars whom are these Muslims who are liars you're actually the liar so this you, you bring a kid in here talking to you and then you say oh look you see all Muslims are, kids, uh, are liars and kids and in the beginning of your um, of this video here you said well it is very easy to uh, to um, debate a sheikh or an imam but it's not easy to um, um, debate a kid because he can lie and there here here you're showing it as if it was all planned uh, because the um the people who uh, who did the tafsir right um mm -hmm. they they said that since so you are making an assumption the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine mentioned never mentioned the word Syria correct I guess yeah okay so yeah so your answer was a mistaken answer in the Quran yeah so here is the Sheikh is saying I guess <laughs> I can't believe it I don't know where you Christian prim find these these um sheikhs yeah. First of all, they know nothing about Islam. Second, they don't care about uh, pr providing or doing. None of them would say, okay, give me a second, let me do a research. You are such an idiot. The Quran is saying the mosque, the sacred mosque, which is in Jerusalem, is the farthest mosque. It's not saying the farthest place on earth. You, oh my God. So let's see. Let me let me see if I can take you back. Who, who, the, who did it, the seer, right? Um, mm. they they said that. Since so you are making an assumption. Guys, listen to what he's going to say right now. Please listen. Then the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine. Never never mentioned the word Syria. Correct. I guess yeah. Okay. So yeah. So you. So the kid is saying, I guess. Yeah. I th I thought he was Sheikh. Now he is guessing. But listen to what Christian Prince is going to say now. Your answer was a mistaken answer, and the Quran here is mistaken because simply. It Look, the Quran is mistaken because simply. Listen to him. It cannot be that the one in Jerusalem, the one is talking about, because this is must be the farthest mosque, and farthest mosque cannot be somewhere it's just a thousand miles away or a thousand kilometer away. America is farther, China is farther, Japan is farther. Who now? Where did America and China and Japan come from? The Quran is talking about this f the, the mosque. Hello? Now, I, I really cannot find any word to insult you without insulting you. All I'm going to say, you're being, being ridiculous in here. I don't know where you got uh, America and China and Japan from. <laughs> they don't ap apply to here. You're being ridiculous. Let's see what you got. Philippines father so this is silly secondly this chapter you quote for me is called the chapter of Al-Isra do you know what Isra mean? Isra is yes, the, the night the night journey the night journey okay your prophet he went where? Uh, he went to um, in the heavens on, on a horse okay this I can't believe this do you guys do you hear the the, the Imam he's he, the Sheikh he's talking to he is talking to this kid who is telling him he asked him where did your prophet go in this particular uh, instance here in this um, chapter that talks about night journey he goes and he, he went to heaven on a horse there is not a single Muslim who would say that Prophet Muhammad went on a horse to heaven now right now I'm telling you that this man is not a Muslim is it has nothing to do with Islam let alone uh, being a sheikh and Christian Prince you are exposing here you are such a liar there is no Muslim on 
earth. I can't believe this man you called him Sheikh. There's no Muslim on earth who would say such a thing. This is another, another deception the Muslims they learn from their scholars. Where in the verse in front of us it says he went to heaven? It's in the uh, it's in the hadith. Ah, uh-huh, in the hadith. So in the, why the, why Allah he forgot to mention something very important that Allah he took him to heaven, but he mentioned that he took him to the farthest mosque. Now let's hear what he's going to say about the night uh, ascension to, to heaven. Um, he He's speaking to his so-called Sheikh. Everything in detail, if you want to go to... Which one is more important, heaven. friend? Which one is important? A journey to heaven or a journey to a, mo- journey to a mosque? Journey to heaven. Okay, so why he did not mention? And look at this now. He's like, okay, uh, which one is more important, this or that? Who said, is it just because you say? Who said that the journey to heaven, to heaven is more important than the journey to the other mosque? Who said that? It is not up to you to say that, sir. Allah mentioned in this verse here, which we're looking at, the um, the the journey, the night journey from Mecca to Jerusalem to the sacred mosque. In this instance, if you want to see where um, the Quran mentions or God or Allah mentions the the, the heavenly um, uh, journey then here here read here let me see if I can make it bigger am I making it bigger yeah so will you then argue with him about what he saw what he saw of course in heaven he certainly saw him Jibreel during his other ascent to the low lot or the low tree in the seven heaven near which is par- which is paradise when the tree was covered with a covering Muhammad's eyes did not deceive him nor did they lead him to a falsehood he certainly saw the greatest sign of the existence of his Lord did, did you see that you, you guys I, I hope you're reading that and that is from Quran okay so this verse we're reading for your record it is from Surat An-Najm verse 12 to 18 Surat An-Najm you copy and you go there Surat An-Najm verse 12 to 18 okay so let's see what this kid is telling him it's like saying to you I took you uh, I took you to Japan and we spent there 50 days and then in the way we stopped in the gas station so you mentioned to me I took you look Mr. Christian Prince if you're talking and telling a story that is up to you you tell it the way you want Japan gas station it does not matter to us what matters to us is what Allah has said to us in this verse we'll take that verse the reason the reason why we take it's because we believe in Allah and we believe in the word of Allah he wanted to tell us about the the journey from Mecca to Jerusalem in here and then tells us about the other journey in another chapter that is up to us it is in one book it is the same thing it's the word of Allah don't you cannot t- say such a thing about the Bible because the Bible is different books it's a collection of books totally different times so please stop deceiving people this is the answer to you I don't know who this kid is but his this kid cannot represent Islam cannot speak for Islam he can he, he already you proved it you as a liar and deceiver you proved that he's a liar and he's not an Arab he cannot speak Arabic he said he is in the United Kingdom he his accent is American and he can hardly answer any question let's move on with the gas station but this is not true the gas station is not important so which one is important you just said it is heaven so how in the world Allah he mentioned everything except what is important in the journey which is going 
who why do you put words in 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 our mouth on in 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 the Quran yourself who told you that the journey, the journey to heaven is more important than the journey to the sacred mosque hmm? where did you get that from is it just some kid is talking to you here and he's agreeing to what you what you are saying or is it just because you're saying it that's it your, your word is Quran move on sir find something more important because this is rubbish not even fit for until now she doesn't fit for 124,000 if you want to put them uh, I mean in a, in a square I mean what square is going to fit for 124,000 people to to uh, to pray inside it so first of all mr. Christian Prince when you put forward such a premise like this where you say that our beloved prophet say there are 124,000 prophets and messenger all in all he in nowhere said that he, they prayed with him in that place not all of them that is a totally different story where the prophet our beloved prophet is teaching his messenger, his, uh, his companions and he's telling them about the number now these people you're talking about if you if you were not such a deceiver the the prophets and messengers they were all dead so when it comes to praying in such a place they're not coming back in body and coming back no one said they're coming in their physical bodies they were spirits okay arwah arwah al anbiya not the um, the phys their physical bodies came out of their graves and started praying there I dare you and challenge you to find anywhere our beloved prophet said they came in their bodies and we prayed uh, in the square there in the, the, uh, the Aqsa mosque okay and this guy talking to you uh, is a setup you set up this a conversation and you got this kid to talk to you I will move on and let you talk the mosque monkey and why yeah, it why, why it, wasn't did, it wasn't Jerusalem it wasn't Jerusalem it was where you say Christian Prince show us where our beloved prophet said that 124,000 um, prophets came to Jerusalem with their flying donkeys I dare you you're such a liar audience I am telling you he is lying in minute 48 36 seconds you can check it go to 48 34 let me see if I can take it back and um, get him to say to it for 124,000 people to to uh, to pray inside it you might want to know it but it has nothing to do with our salvation listen to him what, please. what does it have to do with salvation my friend I'm asking listen you, to him how your prophet he said that he met with 124,000 prophets and every one of them have a flying donkey I dare you and you audience should ask him for proof of what he said that our prophet said he met 124,000 at the Aqsa mosque and they all had flying donkeys I dare you you're lying to people you're lying on us you are putting lies into the Quran the Quran say did not say that the hadith did not say that our blood prophet did not say that you are lying and deceiving people and this kid you you're talking to is even worse than you and why yeah, it why in Jerusalem. why it wasn't, did, in it wasn't Jerusalem it wasn't Jerusalem it was where you said you said to me this is Palestine no I mean no no he met the 124,000 in the Masjid al-Aqsa according to your prophet actually no he said he met them in the seven heavens really okay yes. no. oh my god Th this guy is saying something that is not in Islam that he met them in the uh, seven heavens what is happening in here is that this kid has been given few things to 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 read and Christian Prince is actually driving this whole thing and I will just let him finish and I will get back to it no uh, let me let me if, if I show the reference what you will do it says even uh, uh. Christian Prince at uh, minute 49:38, he's talking to this kid and he's saying and by now I am one million percent sure that this kid has got nothing to do with Islam 
and Christian Prince presented him as Sheikh Muhammad. Oh man, Sheikh Muhammad from United Kingdom. And I guess each and every one of you now can tell that this kid is American. Okay? And each and each one of you by now can tell that this kid here knows nothing but Islam except what he heard from Christian Prince. Now what Christian Prince is saying here is that uh, there was 124,000 prophets and messengers in the square in the Aqsa Mosque and nobody saw them. <laughs> Why? Where does it say, whether in Hadith or the Quran, that they were there in their physical bodies? They were like alive. Who says such a thing? And if you have it, show me, sir. I would love to see it. But because you are a liar and a deceiver, you have no problem uh, doing that. You've got no problem paying someone like this kid to come and give you a chance to show that oh look a Muslim is lying okay, that's right all right I was wondering why nobody saw it so but it was invisible I mean now I get the point so what Muhammad himself was invisible too uh, when you when he went on the night journey mm. yeah mm -hmm. I guess yeah oh <laughs> okay when he said invisible he's right about that because they were there in spirit they were not human being like they were in their lifetime now then you ask that stupid mistake well stupid question when you say that was Muhammad uh, uh, invisible and then he said oh yeah I guess yeah are you kidding me are you flipping killing me what are you doing here so who is traveling here? It is the servant Muhammad. How? It is by the power of God. Yeah, the glory. Who is being glorified? Is it the servant or is it the the Lord God? Hmm. It is the power and the glory of Allah that took the servant from just like this you said a thousand or more miles away in no time that is the power of God just let's take someone flying from from the East Coast to the West Coast of America in a on a plane and someone going on a bus who gets there first of course the power wins because a plane is more power than a boss. There, therefore, apply the same analogy here. It's the glory. It's it's the glorified Allah who did this, and all he has to say is be, and it is, and there he was. But because this is a human being, it had to be. There has to be a mean, a mean that is actually acceptable by the people of the time. Just imagine a, a, a man in Saudi Arabia, I'm talking about my, my beloved prophet, 1400 years ago, you put him in a spaceship and la, and there he is on the other side of the world. No, no sir, that is not an example to set by a God, an almighty wise God. No, but show him something that's close to what he knows as means and even the story when it is being told to other people it has to be uh, close to the what they know otherwise they will never accept it you've got a, a big big problem in here you're using your own measuring stick on other people there are some people whom you tell them stuff they will never believe you even though that if you tell them that you as a liar and a deceiver uh, has written books they will believe you I know that you have some books that are selling on uh, on on Amazon which are all replete with lies and deceptions there are some people who don't believe you 
like I myself, do not believe that you have the ability to tell the truth. Because from the moment you start, for hours and hours, you lie and deceive and cheat people. Therefore, the story of the, 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 the night journey of our beloved prophet is coherent and believable in logic and makes sense. Unlike the, the whole uh, story of your God. And don't want, I, don't, I don't want to get into that because it's not our topic. So I will get back to you and let you talk. Okay, the invisible prophet, the invisible pro uh, 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 God. Sorry, sorry. We, nobody said invisible prophet. Okay. Now, if you are traveling by plane, if you are traveling by plane, you, you, the Christian deceiver. Uh, sorry, C Christian prince. If you were traveling by plane, night time, would anybody see you on the way? Yeah, let's say you're traveling to Japan, from North America to Japan. It it will take you hours and hours, and no one will see you because you are on a plane. And uh, if this kid is saying that oh invisible, and you say invisible, and he's not saying a word about it, that means he's not a Muslim. One million percent, he's not a Muslim. The invisible the heaven, the invisible uh, Aqsa. So what was okay. the was the mosque of Al Aqsa? Was the mosque of Al-Aqsa invisible too? Uh, no. Okay, can you read for me in the screen? Do you see the screen? Uh, no, I don't, because I'm talking on the phone. Okay, it says here, I was brought uh, al burab and who was an animal, white and long, longer than a donkey, but smaller than a mule. Your prophet, he used a donkey to fly. Sorry, sir, it does not say longer. It says larger than a donkey, but smaller than a mule. By to heaven. Is that true? Uh, if, if he said it, then it's true. Okay. Why he made a donkey? Uh, I already answered that, but let's let's hear what he he is going to say. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean. Okay, but he oh here, you, you, do you guys hear him? This is the sheikh who is calling from UK. He speaks as an American, and he does not know. He does not know why the the our beloved prophet was given an al burak which is an uh, which is a a heavily a uh, creature or animal it is not of this world is not from this world it is it is sent by allah so it is a heavily a uh, creature and for a man to be just traveling like that in the middle of nowhere it is not good because Muhammad is a human being. The mean of transport is very important. There was something that's similar to what he writes that's taking it somewhere. Okay, let's let's see what you say. He had an angel with him. Why the angel did not take him? I mean, if the angel... Uh, and, the, uh, uh, and then, after they took the donkey, is this donkey, he have wings? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe yes, maybe no. No, he's a donkey. Okay, so here's the Sheikh. He's saying, I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe not. I can't believe the deception from, from both of you whom have been in Kahoot all along. You kidding me? The Sheikh who he says, I don't know. I don't this. I don't that. Hmm. You don't have wings. Hmm. Okay. Well, look, if it was an angel that took him, then you would have said, why did the angel take him? But if the angel didn't take him, you're going to say, why didn't they? No, angel can go him? to heaven, but here, this is a, this is a normal donkey, supposedly. It's a mule, actually. As you see, it's a mule. Sorry, who said it's a normal donkey? Who said it's a normal donkey? And who said it's a, it's a mule? Huh? Oh, you... You are such a liar, such a deceiver. You, you, you just cannot control yourself. All right. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, if you go here, if also he asked him, "This is the mule," and he said, "Yes, this is the sheikh talking." Man, oh man, this is sickening. I, I'm really, I am sick of, of listening this, these, these lies. Oh, Christian prince, how low can you go? If we go, uh, 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 
uh, if we go in this hadith, yeah, we will see that your prophet he arrived to a place. It's called Al Baytul Ma'mur. Do you know what is that? Yes, yes, I've heard of it. Mm, what is that? Al Baytul Ma'mur. Oh, Oh, here's this Sheikh, <laughs> the Sheikh Muhammad. Oh yes, I heard of it. Oh, yo, oh my God, he heard of it. Oh my God, Christian Prince, where do you get these people from? I, um, I think it was um, I heard I, it was something that it fall, it might it will fall on the Kaaba or something like that. It's a Kaaba. It's like the Kaaba. Oh my God, I, I honestly, I tell you what, after hearing this, I am so. Sick. I feel like vomiting from both of you, from this Sheikh Muhammad and you, Christian Prince. Oh, okay. I need to really calm down a bit because this is this is way too much from you, Christian Prince. There's a lot. I can't believe you get a kid and you you wasting my time. Both of you, liars and deceivers and cheaters. But the same as the Kaaba and the, the and the ground, right? I think, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And what this guy? Oh yeah, I think. I, I think. Are you kidding me? This this man calls the biggest deceiver on earth only to say I think. Uh, what? Kaaba four. Who is doing Hajj there? Um, angels, I think. Hmm. So angels, they do hajj. Do they have a black stone there? They kiss it too. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Huh? Maybe yeah. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Seventy angels. They enter the Kaaba every day. Is that correct? Yeah. Hmm. And they never come back. Wait. What do you mean? They enter the Kaaba, but they never come back. Uh, I don't know. But okay. Well, you're talking all about the angels and stuff. Well, the mm. Bible talks about angels too. So I say that's wrong because yeah, but no. Angels. But I'm saying here the story is a is a fiction story. There's no witnesses. I mean, you see, when 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 people they say Jesus, he made the blind see. The blind was there. The people were there, and there's witnesses. Your prophet, he have just fiction stories, no witnesses, and you are the one who said there's no witnesses. Nobody saw. It. Mm. I I'm. I'm really tired from this discussion because it's just ridiculous.